Hello there, good morning. It's estimated that more than 80,000 children here in Scotland were affected by the two child cap and benefits last year. That's according to research produced for the SNP. Earlier this week, Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer confirmed Labour would keep the two child limit on benefits if it were to win the next election. Labour say the SNP are trying to distract from their own failures. With some more, here's our political reporter, Jenny Davidson. Jenny Davidson reporting there. Meanwhile, Scottish Government grants given to some parents to help buy school uniforms should increase to keep up with the rising cost of living. Elsewhere, retail figures this morning show total sales rose more than 11% in June compared with this time last year. Time to take a look at the weather now and here's Kirsty. And that's all from us for the moment, but I will be back with another update for you in about half an hour's time at 6.55. So I hope that you can join me then. Bye-bye for now. Hello there, good morning. It's estimated that more than 80,000 children here in Scotland were affected by the two child cap on benefits last year. That's according to research produced for the SNP. It comes after Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer confirmed this week he would keep the two child limit on benefits such as universal credit if it wins the next general election. A policy Scottish Labour say they will continue to oppose. With more on this now, here's our political reporter, Jenny Davidson. Meanwhile, Scottish Government grants given to some parents to help buy school uniforms should increase to keep up with the rising cost of living. Elsewhere, retail figures this morning show total sales rose more than 11% in June when compared with this time last year. Time to take a look at your weather forecast now and here's Kirsty MacDonald. And that's all for the moment, but I'll be back with another quick update for you just before 8 o'clock, so I hope that you can join me then. Have a lovely morning. Bye-bye. Hello there, good afternoon. The energy company BP has been fined £650,000 after being found guilty of breaching health and safety laws. 43-year-old Sean Anderson fell through an open grating on the Unity installation and into the sea in September 2014. From Aberdeen Sheriff Court, Phil MacDonald has this report. Our reporter Phil MacDonald there. Now, the outgoing Chief Constable of Police Scotland has defended the investigation into the SNP's finances. Sir Ian Livingston says it was a proportionate and necessary step to place a tent in Nicola Sturgeon's front garden. Elsewhere, a police operation is continuing at the Grangemouth Petrochemical Plant to remove protesters there. Now, elsewhere, an international cycling event could be disrupted after parking staff at Glasgow City Council voted to strike. Now, within the past hour, the final Prime Minister's questions before the summer break has ended. And while Keir Starmer pressed Rishi Sunak over NHS waiting lists in England, the SNP's Stephen Flynn criticised both of them over caps on child poverty benefits. Well, let's go live now to Westminster and our correspondent there, David Porter. And David, we'll come to those clashes in a moment. But first, there was an apology to LGBT veterans. Yes, there and it's the final practice day ahead of the Open Golf Championship, which gets underway tomorrow at Royal Liverpool on Merseyside. All eyes are on 2014 winner Rory McIlroy as he looks to build on a stunning victory last week at the Scottish Open in North Berwick. Our sports news correspondent Chris McLaughlin is at Hoy Lake for us this lunchtime. And that takes us nicely into our weather forecast now. And Judith is in the studio. Judith, a lovely backdrop for you today. And there's a lot going on there. You can see the River Tay. You can see the shower clouds starting to build. I could wax lyrical all day. Thank you. Forecast. OK, Judith, thank you very much for that. Thank you. And that's all from us for the moment. But Laura Miller will be right here with all of your news during Report in Scotland at 6.30 tonight. From everyone on the Lunchtime team, thank you for joining us. Enjoy your afternoon. Bye-bye.